If you're out of these, want to know if the homemade disinfecting wipes are any good at killing bacteria and germs, well then let's do a science experiment and find out together. All right, now before we go on any further, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, you give this video a big thumbs up, hit that bell for notifications. Let's go. So today we are doing some science. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought we would do kind of a fun video. It's more of a science experiment, if you will. So obviously everybody knows that the coveted Clorox disinfecting wipes are pretty much nowhere to be found if you didn't end up buying them when everything started selling out. So as an alternative, people are putting up recipes for homemade disinfectant cleaners that are said or supposed to clean and have the same effect as the Clorox disinfecting wipes. Now about two weeks ago, Catherine from Do It On A Dime, she posted a great recipe for homemade disinfecting wipes. And in that video, she actually follows the instructions from the CDC website guidelines to go ahead and make like a bleach concoction for homemade disinfecting wipes. So I thought it would be fun to compare and contrast the Clorox disinfecting wipes with the homemade disinfecting wipes that Catherine from Do It On A Dime recommended making. Now, to do this, I went ahead and I purchased some Petri dishes and I tested some very common dirty hot spots in our house, including things like the front door, cell phone, keys, credit cards, even the inside of my nose. Yes, kind of gross. So what I did is I ordered a Petri dish test kit off of Amazon and I went ahead and I followed the instructions that are included. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the items that I swabbed that I doubled up. Each item has two separate Petri dishes. I'm going to test how well the Clorox disinfecting wipes kill the bacteria compared to the homemade disinfecting wipes that I made. So, I want to kind of show you guys the bacteria that I grew, which was absolutely disgusting. It smells so wrong. She I want it out of my house. I'm showing you guys the bacteria for the front door. The cell phone and the front door were the absolute disgusting, they were the absolute most disgusting ones. So gnarly. So it's so true what they say that your cell phone is dirtier than a toilet because I so believe it. Like look at this. It's so disgusting. Surprisingly the cleanest part of everything was actually my nose. So yes I took a swab and you know I took it and I swirled it in my nose and then I put it on the petri dish to see what kind of bacteria would grow and interestingly enough my nose had the most consistent and like clean petri dish out of the entire sample. So for anybody wondering if these are my real glasses, they are. I didn't just pull them out for the video. I do actually wear glasses occasionally when I read. So because I've actually had a little bit more time to do some decluttering since we're all stuck at home, I managed to find a box of these Clorox wipes. <laughs> I'm going to do is I labeled every container whether the cleaner that I'm going to use is going to be the Clorox wipes or the homemade version of my bleach wipes. So I will show you guys what they look like. So Catherine actually used a paper towel roll. Again, times are tough and I was out of paper towels and good luck finding paper towels at the store. So I just used napkins, just regular napkins, but I did use the same solution that she recommended. These are fresh, I just made them. So the bleach has not been like sitting here and going inactive. These are freshly made about 30 minutes ago. I just kind of want to do what I would normally do in my house is I took the wipe and then I just kind of wiped it over the surface to see what would happen. So that was easily one of the nastiest things I've ever done or smelled. 
first of all it stank so bad when i was opening all of them up and then as i was wiping everything like it all became kind of gooey and disgusting and like boogering oh but yay for science i'm going to go ahead and let those petri dishes sit and then come back and see if there's any difference in growth of bacteria when i was wiping up both the clorox side and the homemade wipe side you notice that there was some growth that was just not cleaning up as easy as others so there was like mold type growth that was pretty difficult to pick up again i wasn't like trying to scrub in the agar dishes because i don't want the gelatin that's in there to like stretch and break which i did end up ripping up one a little bit in the corner but i just kind of want to do what i would normally do in my house is i took the wipe and then i just kind of wiped it over the surface to see what would happen all right so it's been some time now since these I left them to sit kind of with that solution on top. Let's look at the Clorox one for the cell phone. There's still a little bit of residual growth that's left, but for the most part, it's pretty clean. The little white specks that formed, which is additional bacteria. I think that's still growing in there. The homemade one, there's actually just a bit more growth in this one than the Clorox one. See that right there? And some of it is actually new from when I glass cleaned it, like that one right there. It looks like the Clorox did better for cleaning the cell phone. Let's go to the front door. Now for the front door, this is the Clorox one. I accidentally went a little too hard and I broke the jelly here, but still you can see most of it's clear. You can see that big spotted one right there still a little bit on the surface now you have to remember that the clorox wipes and the homemade wipes they're just cleaning on top of the surface you do have to let the solution really sit there for it to actually work there's a little bit of that left there but when you compare it to the homemade one you see that it actually wasn't able to combat this like black mold um yeah, no matter, I like really went in there, I tried to scrub, I patted with the solution to really get the liquid in there for the bleach, and it just wasn't able to do much about that. For the keys, let's see. The keys, it did a really good job overall, the homemade. There's just a little bit of growth here. And then for the Clorox, um, this the Clorox I think did just a little bit better than the homemade version onto the credit card Here is the Clorox. There's a tiny bit of growth That's happened right there And for the homemade actually you can still see there's quite a bit of spotting These I mean, I'm no expert obviously But these are some growths here that I was not able to remove and then I actually have some new bacteria that's growing right there. And lastly for the nose, again, my nose apparently is the cleanest thing here. Um, this is the Clorox, pretty spotless, minus this one tiny growth here. And the homemade solution, also very clean, look at that. Final thoughts time. It looks like the Clorox wipes performed just a tad bit better than the homemade disinfecting wipes. However, this is going to go into a whole other topic that I'm not going to cover today. However, the Clorox disinfecting wipes have a completely different active ingredient than the homemade ones, right? So the homemade wipes have bleach and water as the main ingredient. If you look at the main ingredients in Clorox, it'll actually tell you that it's bleach free. And it's something called, again, I'm not a chemist, I don't know, um, something to research maybe if you're interested, but it's N -al alcohol C14, 60%, C16, C12. So the ingredients in this are completely different. So they're going to act a little bit different depending on what it is you're cleaning. I noticed for the nose, so if somebody sneezes or coughs potentially, the bleach will actually do a really good job. When it comes to surface bacteria that are like on doorknobs, that are on cell phones, I think whatever is in Clorox is going to do a slightly better job. This is not to say that the bleach homemade disinfecting wipes won't work. I just think that this will perform better 
if you can get your hands on this, I think it's great. If not, rest assured that making some homemade disinfectant wipes with diluted bleach is going to do the trick as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this fun little experiment with me. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Here.